The water's flowing pretty good. Man, maybe a little higher than I thought. We're gonna get in here, try to walk down it, see if we can catch some fish. I'm starting off with a little small swim bait and I'm just gonna start casting and working my way down trying to see if uh, anything is active in here I caught a, I've caught a lot of fish out of here I've never fished it this early in the year but I have a feeling there could be some fish already kind of getting real active and eating oh had a hit yep yep Okay, there was something. Grab the end of the tail. There's a lot of little bitty fish in here. I kind of want to find some of them bass today. That's kind of a goal. I got a medium light rod. I think some of these bass may be in here eating. Oh, oh there's a fish. There's a fish. Number one, sunfish. Nice red breast. I kind of just tossed it back over beside me. Yes, I'm glad to see he's active. That's a pretty one too. Healthy looking. Number one, that's what we're looking for. And bigger. I know that's a that's a good size sunfish, but there's some bigger ones than that. And there's um, then we'll hopefully come across some bass. All right, we're coming into a, what is normally another deep hole, but. It, can change but this this is like a rocky and gravel bottom so it can be one thing one year and after a bunch of floods it can the deep pools can be not as deep deeper uh we'll just kind of walk through it and we're gonna find out oh, oh there we go there's another one nice red breast There's a couple there. It's getting a little deeper than I can go right now. I'll come back hopefully in a week or two and the water will be a little lower. But I'm gonna fish these little sections up here because there's some good ones in there. They're just biting a little soft. And then it's a good sign to see these guys out here. Oh, back to back, there they are. Kinda gotta focus on that little spot right there. What a red breast. Man, look at that one. That's beautiful. Surprised I haven't got any bass yet. The bass may still be a little bit further downstream. And um, because they'll be they'll be moving up in here really soon. Alright, let's work our way back upstream and focus on those little undercuts like that. Oh, oh yeah, there's another one. There's three in there. That's a bluegill. Oh. Okay, those sunfish are <laughs> out in a, they're not like all over the place. They're still kind of tucked in their little, little holes, but they're hitting. Oh, okay. I do thumb tip. Look at that. It's a healthy looking bluegill. Nothing giant, but just the way he's shaped. So I have been right off that, that debris right there with that trash and just, you know, uh, leaves and limbs have piled up. Sitting right on it. Let's make some more casts on the edge of this bank right here. It gets really deep through there and I'm not gonna go down through there today, but when the water goes down a little bit, it'll be easier for me to wade through there. But let's fish this bank and then work our way back up. Oh man. I just saw something jump downstream. Oh, all right. We may have to go down to that hole down there. I just saw something run across the water like it was getting chased out of the water. That bin right there. Oh, okay. We got to get a little bit further down. I wasn't sure if I want to go there, but oh, there's a little bass right there. I just saw a little bass. Okay, so I've been casting this hole. No bass. That was a little bass. I just went through. Come on. 
I know you're in there. Yeah, right there. Oh, had a hit. Got it. There's one. And it's a uh, bluegill. It's kind of healthy. Like everything in here just looks healthy. It might be small, like it's a, not a big one, but they he's got a little gut on him. They just eat well in these little streams. Oh yeah, right there. Ah, missed it. Come back, come back. Got it, came back for it. Or at least something did. Cause there's probably 20, 20, to 50 oh nice bluegill 20 to 50 bluegill and different sunfish that live in a hole like that Good one. oh it's on it's on these guys are trying to inhale the whole thing where sometimes you're catching little ones like this they just peck at it now these guys are in here to these guys want to live and grow so they're they try to eat everything if it comes in front of them and try to get the whole thing in their mouth okay well we're getting some little bit smaller ones so maybe there's not as many big ones in there right now as i thought they are once again it could just be hiding oh i see them dude there's a ton of sunfish right there I just walked up to, oh yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. I knew there'd be a bunch in there. Now they're not all eating. Oh, 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 oh. They're take, oh, they're pecking at it. There's probably a whole bunch of them pecking at it. I didn't even feel it, because uh, I just saw like four or five hit at it. Kind of, oh, there it is. They're kind of taking little bites now. But there's a bunch of them sitting in there, just over that little um, piece of wood right there. Dozens of them. What's that? What's that? That's a good fish. Nice bluegill. There's another one underneath it. It was cool. That was cool. I saw I saw that one fighting and I saw another one that was just underneath it. Just kind of following him up. I can't tell what's deeper and not. It's, this creek is definitely different. Um and, it, and it's murky and it's up so it's like all the spots are a little different i'm gonna stand right here in the water and just try to fish this little drop off it's got to be fish hanging out right there uh oh i'll see something yeah i saw something go down after it oh that's a pretty bluegill I'm just popping these things out of there. <laughs> they, uh, it's a little, this uh, surprised me. The bluegill and redbreast are a lot more active than I thought. Let's try that again. I just dropped it and I kind of saw something follow my bait down. Let's see if there's anything there this time. Nope, nothing. Oh! Yes, oh yes, yes, yep, there we are. Man, this guy, look how hard this guy's fighting. This, this is why I bought, brought the medium light today. Cause I was looking for some of these guys and they're not giant bass. Yes, I can catch them on ultralight, but they they can fight. You know, that's a 11 inch largemouth, but just a digging, there it is. I was kind of hoping to just catch a bunch of these. They're not they're not as aggressive. Like they're not out just like hammering lures like I thought they might be. But they're in here. And that one I had to get it in a deep hole and just kind of let it drop. But I know there's more. There's there's a bunch in here and I'm gonna go ahead and change to something else just to try it out. Thank you, Mr. Bass. I used a little a couple different lures, but this right here is a little Bobby Garland and just like a 120th ounce little jig head. And it was getting it done. 
And if I had, if the sun's going down, if I had more time to just keep on going, I believe like these little pockets here where it's like three foot deep, got a little cut out. These fish are just hiding up in there. And I, I think the bass are sitting in there too, but they may just want something maybe on the bottom or just a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna change it out to, we're gonna go from like pan fishing to bass fishing. All right, we are back to the Bobby Garland. Um, it's called the baby bass color. It's been doing really good for me recently. And I like, look how shallow the hook's coming out. But it's still a stiff hook. This is a Z-Man, one of the micro series hooks. And that's what I was using earlier. And it's easy for that fish to get it in its mouth. But the hook is still pretty strong. Where I'm throwing it on a medium light, I'm not gonna bend it out or anything. All right, hopefully a couple more, a couple more fish and we'll be done. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. All right. I was, I just kind of went too fast, I think, through some of these holes. And um, I was just thinking I was gonna get right to them, go really fast, slow down, and I'm getting uh, getting these good ones, which I thought maybe like, well, maybe they're not in there. No, they're here. It just needed a little slower presentation. Good. Finally got one hooked. See what it is yeah a little blue gift so uh, there may be more of them in this hole because i'm getting every cast in there something's pecking at it probably like 10 casts in a row i was getting a bite finally one got hooked oh there we go kind of let them take it oh little guys oh what is that a blue gift yep blue gift there's a lot of different sunfish that live in this creek and they haven't showed up at all i haven't seen them so Next time, though, I'm excited about the next time I come here. I'll probably try to give it a week or so. I don't know, maybe a few days if if I if the rain if the rain lets up. The sun actually is just about to hit the trees, so it's um, time to get out of the creek. The days are starting to get longer, but I'll, I'll be happy when they're I get another hour or hour and a half of daylight and um, I can kind of stay in these streams longer. I fished at a pond earlier today and I caught one fish and just nothing was happening. And I'd been wanting to check out this creek and I just wasn't sure if it's ready. Well, pretty good day for, for the hour and a half to maybe two hours I spent. And um, half that time was trying different lures. I tried different things. I tried um, some bigger lures. And, uh, but that little Bobby Garland is what really got almost all the fish today and just fishing it slow and just kind of finding those bluffs right off those edges of thickets where those fish are. As long as the rain holds up, I'll be able to do a lot more of this style of creek fishing and it's, it's fun. It's, I got lots of different creeks to go to. Some, they take longer to recover than others. I knew this is a shorter one, so it ought to be back down and it's almost back down to normal, but I'll definitely be back in here um, soon and a lot of different, this side of streams, trying to go for bass and panfish and just just having a fun where you just wade a little ways and catch a bunch of fish. I was wearing the uh, Choda waders and the Choda hybrid boots that I've gotten. And um, that way I didn't have to get wet, but also I didn't want to go. There was a place where it was about waist deep and I didn't want to go that far. So um, these come up to your, uh, you know, up to your thighs. So thanks for watching. More creek fishing is coming soon.